gasoline. In the next 60 years, the human race will no longer see gasoline. These old bones power our cars, our houses, our way of living. Without electricity, mankind will perish. We have 60 years, 60 years, ladies and gentlemen, to find another source of electricity. Now, we have two options. We can A, give ourselves more time to find another source of electricity by converting some of our day-to-day gasoline-eating machines to a machine that relies purely on electricity. Or B, we can begin the search to replace all gasoline. Ladies and gentlemen, the options may not seem different, but we need to experiment on what works and what doesn't work. So without further ado, I present to you mankind's new best friend, the electric car. Thanks to modern technologies, we can now begin prototyping on electric cars. Keep in mind that these technologies are brand new to the human race, so we might have some difficulty using them. We have invested in the best scientists in the world. They all have one thing in common. They all smell really good. Our scientists have been working hard all day and all night. They don't even take potty breaks. They all left their family to work on this car. They didn't have enough time for a social life. They're basically hard working machines. I'm not gonna lie. It scares me at times how hard they work. Like gosh, they'll never take a break or something. Sadly, the car is still in prototype and will never come out for commercial services because of procrastination. Oh, that's cute, it's a cat. <coughs> Anyways, thank you ladies and gentlemen for being part of our audience. This has been Mohammed, and we'll see you again. Once we can actually get this darn thing to work, okay? So just grab some popcorn to munch on. Gerald, would you stop munching on grass? Alright, I give up. Goodbye. Just, just come back later. Please?